Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a checkpoint. I just drew by hand with Piscal a flag, and all it uh, really has to do is be a pole with some sort of color. I made red the checkpoint flag that's waving uh, if I haven't hit it. And once I hit it, I'm going to change it to animation one, which is this green flag. Okay, so let's add the checkpoint to the room. And I'm just going to um, move it. Uh, I'll put the checkpoint. Oops, let me just delete that one. I'll put the checkpoint over here. Uh, I also resized it. I didn't want it quite. It looks, it was a little big when I drew it, but no problem. I can just resize it by just clicking and uh, creating whatever size I want. Okay, let's add some codes. So uh, I'm going to create a group called Checkpoint. And what's going to happen is Mario is going to have a collision with the Checkpoint. So when Mario hits the Checkpoint, what I want to have happen is I want to have the Checkpoint change from red to uh, frame one, which is green. So I go add action and I'm going to say checkpoint and I'm going to say change the animation and I want to set the animation to value one, which is the green one. Great. Now I want to also make a scene variable, which I want to have a value of wherever this collision took place. Because what is going to happen is when, if I die, I want to restart where this flag is. So I can use the X and the Y position of the flag so that I restart there. So how do I get the X and Y position and how do I store it in a variable? Let me show you. So I'm going to say here, add action, and I'm going to say scene variable. So value, so I type in scene, value of a scene variable. and uh, where it says variable, well, I don't haven't made them yet. So if I want to make them, I can click on this little box with an arrow and I can create a scene variable. So it's kind of like a global variable, but it only is going to be applied to this room or this scene. So I'm going to say add and I think in class I called it uh, uh, checkpoint X, but I'm going to call it X uh, position just for something different so you can, uh, uh, hopefully it'll make more sense if you saw it in class and now when you see it here uh, as something else, it'll hopefully click in with you what I mean by this. So the X position is gonna be where this um, uh, latest collision happened. I'm gonna add another variable and I'll call this one the Y position. And it's important how I type it and capitalize because if I'm going to refer to those variables, I need to type it in exactly as they appear. So now when I go variable, I can click on where the word variable and the two variables I have as seen variables will pop up. So again, this makes it so you can't accidentally type something wrong. So I'm going to say variable X position. It's going to equal the object checkpoint. So I click object checkpoint and then dot. And then if I type the letter X, it's going to list X with parentheses. And it's important that we include the X with parentheses. So again, so you don't make an error, just click on it and it will type it exactly as it should be. So I want the variable called X position to be the value of the checkpoint dot X. So the X place of the checkpoint. So the scene variable X position is going to be the value of X. And then I'm going to say the scene variable value of the scene variable Y position is going to equal the checkpoint dot Y parentheses. And again, I just click it uh, so I know I've got it exactly. So now I've changed the variable. It's not going to make Mario move at all. So let me show you why I made the checkpoint. One, I made the checkpoint. So in my game, as I go along, and let me just zoom out here and uh, zoom over. So maybe way over here, I might have another checkpoint. And so again, if I managed to beat these Goombas here, if I die, uh, I would be at this new checkpoint. 
Okay, so that's one of the reasons. And so we can make the uh, challenge hard, but not stupidly hard that you get frustrated and give up because you want to keep going and exploring to see where the next checkpoint is. Okay, again, how do I die? Well, what happens is if Mario hits the Goomba when Mario's on the floor, we originally had delete Mario. I don't want that now. So what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to say object Mario, move the position. So I type the word position and you'll see it has position right here. And I can set the X position to be the variable I made called um, uh, the uh, variable. So I type in variable and it's a scene variable that I called X capital position. So I made a variable called X capital position and it's a scene variable. And so whatever it was, if it was the value of 800 when it hit the flag, now Mario is going to move to, we're going to set Mario to 800. And the Y position is going to be set to the variable, the scene variable called Y capital position. And again, uh, unfortunately it doesn't type it out for us, so we could make a typo. So just be really careful at this point. So then Mario is going to move to this place. And I can test it out, so I'll hit play, and you'll see that when I test it out, uh, if I hit the flag here, it turns green. And now if I accidentally die, I start back at the flag. I didn't start back at the beginning. but. There's one slight problem, and, and you probably would not even notice this, uh, but I'm going to um, show you anyhow. But at the beginning of the game, let me just zoom in. At the beginning of the game, Mario started right here. And the position, if you see on the screen here, it says X, 219, and then it says Y, 431. So what I want to do is, if I haven't hit a checkpoint, I want to make this the place that Mario is going to go to. So what I'm going to do is, under uh, Goomba, we had at the beginning of the scene, we, we had to hide the right and left object. I also want to set the scene variable. So at the beginning of the scene, I want to change the value of the scene variable and the scene variable called X position, and I want to set it to the value of 219 because when I hovered my mouse over Mario, it said its position was 219. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the Y at the beginning of the scene. I want to change the scene variable Y position. So I go uh, scene variable, value of the scene variable Y position, and I'm going to set that one to that value that said 431. And so now if I haven't hit the flag, you'll see I'm going to start right back here at 2.19.431. Let me just hit play and show you that. Uh, I'll demonstrate and just accidentally um, uh, get hit. So here we are, and I haven't hit the flag, but I start in the very beginning. Now if I do hit the flag, now if I was to get hit, I start at the flag. Great. So see if you can uh, get the flags and notice if I make it another flag and I'll, uh, I think I have the other flag working here. So if I get to the other flag way over here, I don't have to climb all this way again. I can simply, let me hit the flag. So I hit the flag and now if I die, I will start right at this spot. Great.